So you are not going to believe what just happened. While on my way to my bestie's house, I get a phone call from a random number. Looks like one of those call and text free numbers if you ask me. At first, I wasn't going to answer the call, but I suddenly decided to answer. I said hello, and all I heard was a soft whispering voice saying, have you seen her? Immediately, I went into panic mode and started screaming and yelling at whoever was on the other end of the phone. Just so happens that Officer Whitley and his partner were driving by on their way to my bestie's house to speak with her mom when they saw me in the middle of the street making a scene. Officer Whitley quickly stopped and jumped out to see what was going on with me. I told him that I just received a random phone call from someone whispering the words, Have you seen her? Officer Whitley says, Seen who? I said, Who else? I believe some boy and his friend have kidnapped my bestie and are now playing games as if this is some kind of joke. Officer Whitley told me to get into the back of his car as he was already on his way to my bestie's house to speak with her mom and see if she has seen or heard from her daughter. When we arrived at my bestie's house, her mom's car was already gone. I told Officer Whitley that my bestie's mom was supposedly going out of town for her birthday weekend, which is why me and my bestie went to the mall so she could get her mom a gift before she left town. Officer Whitley jumped out of the car and proceeded to knock on the door as if what I just told him didn't matter. A part of me was relieved because I felt that Officer Whitley was now committed to helping me find my bestie. Another part of me was still shaken up after receiving that phone call. Suddenly my phone rings again and it's the same number. I yell out to Officer Whitley. He grabs the phone and answers it. He hears the same exact whispering voice saying, have you seen her? Officer Whitley quickly lashed out just as I did earlier. He said, when I find out who you are, you are going away for a long time, pal, and hung up. Now I suddenly started to feel served and protected. There's nothing like an officer doing his job, especially an officer who is the father of a friend you've known since the first grade. I'm just now getting home. Officer Whitley and his partner dropped me off to make sure I got home safely. He told me not to worry. He'll be out all night and all day tomorrow until he finds my bestie. Honestly, I don't care what he says. I'm so worried and scared right now. I just hope my bestie is okay. I can only imagine what she is going through or even how she is feeling right now. The crazy part is that her mom has left town not even knowing that her daughter is missing. Just got out of the shower. It felt so good. I definitely needed that. This has been like the worst day of my life. I'm not sure if I will be able to sleep comfortably tonight knowing that my bestie is somewhere out here alone with no help. Please protect and watch over her. Bring her home safely. She doesn't deserve what has happened to her. She is such a good person with a pure heart. She would never hurt anyone. Lord, please don't let anyone hurt her. And if those boys are behind her reason for missing, I ask that you give them the ultimate punishment that they deserve. Wait, what was that? I wonder who is knocking at my door this late.